Mama's cooking, bitch. So I end up like making a move and he runs some more and runs out to the front room and we kind of square up again. I don't really get to get, I, I, I'm thankful to this day that there were people there because if it was just me and him, I, I probably would have really hurt him. But every time we had, probably had three times where we kind of got up and I was trying to hit, but every time I was guys on my left arm, guys on my right arm pulling me back. So I never really, really got to really fire on him, fire on him like I wanted to, uh, luckily, because it, it could have got ugly. So long story short, we finally get broken up for you know the last time and someone grabs me with a firm grab. Luckily, because <laughs> mama's cooking, bitch. So I end up like making a move and he runs some more and runs out to the front room and we kind of square up again. I don't really get to get, I, I, I'm thankful to this day that there were people there because if it was just me and him, I, I probably would have really hurt him. But every time we had, probably had three times where we kind of got up and I was trying to hit, but every time I was guys on my left arm, guys on my right arm pulling me back. So I never really, really got to really fire on him, fire on him like I wanted to, uh, luckily, because it, it could have got ugly. So long story short, we finally get broken up for you know the last time and someone grabs me with a firm grab and I turn around and that's our Lakers security guard. And he's just like, you know, I was like, uh, I apologize for the situation. You know, I heard someone just call the cops. I don't want you, want you to get in trouble. You should leave. So I left and then the head security that kind of leases out these security guards hits me the next day like, yeah, he didn't know what to do. You know, he, he was in a bad place. He didn't know where Derek was going and he was kind of just stuck there. But that's why he didn't get in and try to break it up because he just, you know, he knew that he knew the situation was ill. So Right, because at the time, Derek was the coach. Coach uh, of the Knicks. Coach of the Knicks. So and he I guess left. he actually missed practice the next day. He missed, that's how serious it was. He missed, uh, yeah, he missed, he, he left training camp early to come allegedly go see his family but was you know staying in my house with my family because I found it was a crazy story because so at the time Phil Jackson's son was my agent mm. so I hit him up like <laughs> yeah I got in a fight and he's in Hawaii so it's a couple hours later and he's like what do you mean you got in a fight where are you at what's going on I'm like I'm in LA I got in a fight I might be getting in trouble and he's like who'd you fight and I'm like Derek Fisher and he's like how did you fight Derek he's at you know <laughs> they're they're in training camp right now in New York and he's and I'm like, no, nah, that motherfucker was at my house. He's like, oh, hold on, let me call my dad. So I guess he calls Phil and he got the story and then he made up some story how he needed to come to LA or whatever. And this shit just went down. Okay, did he get any punches in? Hell no. No, he was he didn't he didn't throw no punches and he was like screaming the whole time like stop and we need to talk let's talk this out let's do this let's do that but no he didn't he didn't throw no punches. Okay, well you got suspended. For two, two games. Two games, which was crazy because no one's ever got suspended. You know what I mean? It had nothing to do with – it was, wasn't really during the season yet. It had nothing to do with basketball. It was in my home. Yeah. And But like I said, there goes, I think, my reputation that I've built um, got me again. Right. Well, I guess the, the Players Association was trying to, to get that reversed. Mm -hmm. But then you went ahead and basically – Fuck myself. No, but just <laughs> defended what you know. Just right, because I didn't feel. You know, what I mean, I I remember I did an interview with some shit. Like, you know, I was, you know, just kind of just keeping it real because you got to think about it. Like, motherfuckers get killed for situations like shit like that. If that's like some street shit, like if I wasn't no basketball player, like people get you, like, bro, you were with my ex wife and my kids. Like, people have died for much less. Oh yeah, I mean that's how Floyd Mayweather got arrested. You know, what remember I mean? that whole thing? Yeah, that, that with it. He his baby mother had some dude at her house for a house that he was paying for, and he showed up. Yeah, and then it, boom, yeah, he it, went to it, prison. Right, it could it it could have got you know much uglier than it got, but it was just you know. So I, I'm automatically right back into the preseason, and people are interviewing him because it's slowly but surely starting to make its way out, and. I just, you know, I, just, I said some shit like violence is never the answer, but sometimes it is. And I got fined. <laughs> I want to say, was it another, did it say 50? 35,000. 35,000 for that shit. But I mean, it was, it was what it was. And, 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 you know, when I tell you, I got so much love from outside people, from, from, from referees, from general managers, <laughs> from owners, from players from other leagues were, you know, sending me messages uh, via social media, man, we respect what you did. We would have did the same shit. <laughs> Um, so, you know, fast forward, uh, he ends up getting fired from the Knicks. Um, you think because of that? I think that probably has something to do with it. I don't think they really wanted to make it that, but I think it definitely has something to do with it. Um, but fast forward, you know, they stay together. Um, 
my kids really like the dude, and I'm thinking outside of just like, okay, well, I'm, I'm done with her, and she could be much worse. So I'm at the point where, like, I'm not really tripping off dog no more, and then my boys are like, you know, Daddy, we really like Derek. You should be friends with Derek. Oh, yeah, she, she could be much worse. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? So think like, about it. Right, she, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A, she could be with a D-boy right, right. now. So that's I was, just yeah. like... So I wasn't <laughs> like, after my initial frustration, I wasn't really tripping no more. I'm like, he could be much worse. So my kids are kind of the ones that pushed me into like squashing everything with them. So it would be a situation before where we hadn't talked or said nothing. So he was with Gloria, but so he would come to the boys' games. And when I would come, he would look down the whole game or sometimes even leave. And I'm just like, this shit is stupid. So one day I just pull him to the side. 